the great research frontier right now is strategies to f help people integrate these experiences. Um, Houston Smith uh, has, is well known for making the distinction between uh, religious experiences and religious lives, you know, and the religious experience may nurture and inform the religious life. Um, religious, you know, altered states versus altered traits, you know. But, but the purpose of religion isn't just to have wonderful experiences. And the purpose is to uh, uh, take those experiences like as expressed in the Bodhisattva ideal or the uh, suffering servant in the second Isaiah to come back into the world of daily living and work in your soup kitchen or work for justice or, or whatever. And so the real challenge is how these insights get integrated. If someone becomes grandiose, you know, grandiosity is usually fueled by insecurity. You know, it's compensating. And there's, that would be a, in the therapeutic journey, a, a reason to uh, continue and try to get at the roots of that. Um, we get hung up in language in these mis... It, personally, I, I don't like to use the term my mystical experience. I'd rather say the mystical experience. Because I, I don't feel I, as an ego, had that experience. And he, it would be more accurate to say the experience had me. Does that make sense? Uh, that uh, it, these deep states, when they open up in whatever context, with or without drugs... I think always come as as gifts. The the theological word is grace. You know that it's it's simple. You're open and this beautiful thing unfolds before your eyes or within your eyes, and it happens, and you you receive this sense of love and wisdom. Um, but no, you don't uh, you don't make it happen. 